Welcome back, our video friends. Appreciate you being with us today. N another beautiful day in the month of March, the year 2022. And I hope the Lord be uh, gracious to use these videos for many years to come. And uh, I trust to be a blessing to many people. And we appreciate those of you who have uh, encouraged others to listen. And as I've always, as I try to say every Sunday, if you have a prior request, uh, please let me know about it. I can pray for you more intelligently. Um, every, <clears throat> every Saturday afternoon, I have a special time of prayer. And during that time of prayer, I pray for uh, the subscribers and viewers of the video channel that we have. And uh, certainly my prayers are for you and with you. And I don't know all, all the subscribers and viewers. I do not know. Uh, <clears throat> I know it's not all that many, but still, I don't, I don't, know, I don't know half of them. I, various people have told me, hey, we, we watch you from time to time. And so it helps me to be able to pray for those whom I know. And I do. And when I know those, I do pray for them. And so if you let me know the request, I promise I'll do my best to pray for that request. And I'm not here to make money off of this, and I'm not here to sell anything, <clears throat> but uh, simply as a ministry, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> giving my time and some of my monies to uh, minister in the work of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's my purpose in doing this, and to preach His Word, and to teach His Word, as be pleasing before His face to do. Well, let's look on now to the last verse of chapter number 3, a wonderful verse of Scripture. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. There are a lot of people uh, who have trouble uh, about knowing that they're saved. And a lot of people have uh, who, who doubt. I'm told there's a lot of people who doubt. And I've ran into people who have been supposedly saved two or three or four or five different times and now they've not they've only been saved one time not two not three and not five not ten and uh but right here is a great verse to help us uh if you have any doubts about your salvation <clears throat> it could not be written any sim any simpler it could not be any easier to understand than what it says right here he that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. Now don't go adding a bunch of qualifications to that. Uh, they're not added here. It's very simple. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. Why go adding a bunch of this and that to something wherein the Lord did not add it to it? As I've said many times before in my videos, we're not saved by a bunch of man-made do's and don'ts. That's religion. Do's and don'ts. Uh, that is religion. We're saved by the wonderful work of Jesus Christ. That is salvation. Salvation and Christianity is Jesus Christ. Truthfully, we don't participate in religion. Uh, we don't have religion. Religion is a system of do's and don'ts that men have came up with. But right here is the qualification from the Lord's Word. Very sim simply put, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. I mean, that's as simple as it could be. Don't add baptism. Don't add good works. Don't add tithing. Don't add wear this cloth. Don't add cut your hair this way or grow it this way. Don't add wire rim glasses. Don't add stains from earrings. Don't add all these do's and don'ts. Uh, and the list could go on forever. Uh, don't, don't add that to it. The Bible says, He that believeth the Son hath everlasting life. A church I was in one time, uh, he, he believed the, the gospel. No doubt the pastor did, without any doubt. And he meant well. He just meant to teach people to try to live godly lives. Uh, but one time he uh, put a list of do's and don'ts up on the, stuck it up on the back of the church. And uh, it caused a lot of controversy in the church and also among visitors that came in. He eventually took it down. But uh, it, was, it was almost like he was adding a list of do's and don'ts to salvation. And it was uh, like, yes, we believe on Jesus Christ to be saved, but right here's uh, other things you need to do. And, uh, but my friends, as far as salvation is concerned, and knowing Jesus Christ, 
It is believing upon Him. It's not doing this or doing that. It's not don't do that and don't do this. Uh, forget that stuff. Uh, the Lord will guide you. You accept Him as your Lord and Savior. The Holy Spirit of God will teach you right from wrong. You do wrong, He'll let you know you've done wrong. If you're practicing something that's wrong and sinful, He will let you know that. Uh, we're told that He chasteneth every child whom He receiveth. We're told that in the Bible. But as far as our salvation in Him, we get it by believing. Now, He teaches us right and wrong. He certainly does. Uh, the Lord shows us, don't do this and do that. He shows us that. That's the work of the Holy Spirit within us. But don't ever get the idea that you've got to take another step to get into God's heaven. Uh, the only step you can take is to believe on the Son, and you have everlasting life. And if you get to doubting it, perhaps your salvation experience uh, as the years have passed, perhaps it's grown. Uh, 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 it's grown uh, uh, small in your memory. Perhaps it's not as vivid as it used to be, the experience and the time of knowing Christ. Well, my friends, uh, don't try to renew that experience. Uh, just go to the Bible and believe what the Bible says. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. Just ask yourself in the midst of your doubts, do I believe on the Son of God? And you have to say, yes, I believe upon Him. And that's it. And the devil will come, he'll harass you, and try to make you think that you're under God's wrath and under God's condemnation. Uh, he'll do that. He, he, I believe he attacks everybody with those kinds of thoughts. He, he does me from time to time. He'll attack me with that stuff. But uh, I just simply go back to the Bible. He that believeth on him, uh, he that believeth on the Son, hath everlasting life. I'm God's child. And this word is our weapon against the wiles of the devil. Now you let him, he'll torment you to death. So, well, you can't remember when it happened. You can't remember where it happened. And I've met people who couldn't tell you when they believed or where it was, uh, the exact year, the exact date. I can but uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of people I've met cannot. I've met various people who were saved in their early childhood and really can't remember the day of the experience uh, too clearly. It's, it's been so many years, but they know in their heart that they believe upon the Son of God. The Bible tells us, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. And that's how you can know for sure that you're saved. Now, my friends, let me go a step further. Uh, there's none of us are perfect, even after we're saved. We've all sinned after we have known Jesus Christ. Uh, we've all yielded, no doubt, at one time or the other into some sin. Maybe a small one, maybe a large one, if you want to measure them. <clears throat> but the fact is, <clears throat> we've all had bad thoughts, to say the least. I, I know you have. I know I have. Uh, because we still have the old nature that we dwell in. Now, it may be that you have yielded to some, to some sinful deed that you shouldn't have done, and uh, you may feel very, very bad about it. If you're a Christian, you will feel very, very bad about it until you get it made right with God. But my friends, even in the midst of those feelings bad about a sin that you may have committed, that doesn't mean that you lost your salvation with that. In, even in the midst of that, ask yourself, do I believe in the Son of God? And you can answer the question about whether you're still His child or not. Certainly you are. And so don't get the idea that because you sin, that you're no longer His child and that you need to go back and get saved all over again. No, you need to go to the Lord and ask His forgiveness. Yes, for that sin, but not to become His child again. To do so would be to make a mockery of the cross. And I hope you understand what I'm saying. Uh, to go back and to get saved, supposedly get saved again and again, that is to make light of the work of Jesus Christ. That is to make a mockery of what he has done for the believer. And, uh, and uh, you've got it all mixed up when you're doing that. But if you have sinned, as we all do, uh, we go to the Lord for cleansing. Uh, we go to, uh, to have our feet washed, you might say. We go so we can get up and walk another mile. 
we get defiled as we walk in this world. And we are defiled by this world as we walk within it. But uh, when I go to prayer, I don't say, Lord Jesus, save me a sinner. No, I do not pray that way. I prayed that way one time, one day, and it's still good after 40. And it's a great blessing to know that, uh, that the Lord saves eternally and gives us everlasting life. Now, just because you've walked away from the Lord, it may be you've done that, and you're not living close to Him anymore. It may be that you uh, are not in church, you're not in any service of any kind, and it may be that you're not reading your Bible, you're not praying, and it may be that you are committing sins in your life. Well, my friends, uh, I guarantee you the Lord will, will guide you and rebuke you in those matters. And that he'll convict you of those matters. He'll convict you of all that. And, uh, and you don't need to go to get saved again. You need to go and pray, forgive me for I have sinned. Uh, as far as asking Jesus Christ to come to your heart and be your Lord and Savior, uh, you don't go repeating that. You just don't go repeating that. You believe. And he gives you the faith to believe. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. But then another word, uh, but, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. Now the man or the woman who has not believed upon him, uh, <clears throat> that person is condemned already, and the wrath of God is abiding upon them. The wrath of God will take place upon them when they die. And like the rich man in Luke chapter 16, lifts his eyes up in hell, and there he is forever and forever, just desiring a simple drop of water to his tongue. Well, that is the man who has tasted of the wrath of God. He who has not believed upon the Son of God shall experience the wrath of God. So my friends, there's a heaven to gain and a hell to shine. You gain heaven by believing upon Jesus Christ. It is made so simple in John chapter 3. Jesus has made it so simplex that a wayfaring man, even though a fool, not a need not err therein uh, for the guilty for the condemned believe upon jesus christ for all who have sinned can believe upon jesus christ and be forgiven of their sins my friends uh, we'll see as we go on through this book uh, about people who who do believe upon him and people who do accept him and we, I, enjoy, I enjoy going back through here and reading the stories uh, the woman taking adultery nicodemus uh, and uh, the, the Samaritan woman, many others that we'll read about who have put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ over 2,000 years ago. May God bless you and help you as you journey with him.